Hello, guys. Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you all so very much for all the amazing support on the Scrap Mechanic series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. As you probably saw in the title, I want to do an improved piston today and actually turn it into an elevator. I saw a channel by the name of Huggy Bunny Games that did a really good piston design that I want to replicate today. So I'll leave his link in the video description for you guys to check out but it all starts with a very simple design here let's just put one more hold on I just want it one higher there we go all right so we have just a stand you can attach it to pretty much anything just so it has clearance right and we're gonna put one arm here and then we'll attach another arm like so and then we'll attach another arm. But this is actually going to be the piston head. So right here, I guess what I'll do is actually turn it to wood. Uh, wood, I said. <laughs> and I'll flatten out the head just like so. There we go. Now it's going to fall over and stuff. That's okay. Let's all connect it up. So when we connect it to a simple controller... And we're going to connect the button to the controller as well, so it powers it. And we're going to start one, two, and three. Okay, very good. Now, they basically just need to rotate out. So the first one, which is the very first piston, is going to have to go towards the blue. The second one is actually going to have to go towards the pink to unfold. And then the third one, blue. And this one is going to be 90, 180, and 90. So just like that, 90. Oh, wait, did I say blue? <laughs> I already forgot which, which direction it has to go. Yes, blue. All right. So blue, 90. Pink, 180. And blue, 90. And we're going to change the speed to a little bit slower because it's pretty ridiculous. So uh, if we hit the button, it's just going to stretch right out. And that's exactly what we want. Now, this is a little bit off for some reason. The starting position of this piston, is it because of the weight? Uh, it might be because of the weight. I don't know. That's funny. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's see. Let, let me go ahead and delete these blocks and see if it changes any. No, it sure doesn't. Is did did I change? Ah, it's only seventy-five. That's why. Derp. Okay, so it's gonna go out flat now. There we go, <laughs> and the piston head is complete. Now, if we were to take this same thing, and we would do that with a um, and it retracts just the same way. By the way, if we would take the same thing, what did I just do here? Come on, man. Attach. So if we were to do the same thing in a vertical motion, this would would create a lift. Pretty simple concept, right? So I'd like to see if we can do an elevator. And I'm going to do one that's pretty darn big, I think. Like, I would think that you would like to be able to get a vehicle of the elevator. Now, I don't know if it, this is probably going to be too heavy to one for one piston to push. Because I don't really know weight limits. So let's just try it. So we're going to need a large metal platform. Not large that way large hold on one more time there we go that's probably big enough and that's just going to be the frame let's just say that's just so it can attach to the ground and then we're going to need our mechanism so we can make the mechanism i suppose we can go this way with it. that'll probably be good and we're going to put the first pivot point here and we're going to bring up the i guess we can do this with all metal so we'll bring it up to as far as it can go and then we'll do another one as far as it can go and then we'll do one more and this will actually be the platform so we're going to make the platform as big as the base okay there we go and I like this material because it's light and it shows like construction area type stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, did I do that wrong? I did. I don't even know what I connected that. Oh, I connected it to the piston. Now, what did I do that for? I know what I did wrong. 
Sheesh. That should have all been connected to the same the same thing here. There. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, <laughs> pardon me, guys. I'm so sorry about that. All right. So let's take a... Let's see now. We need a controller, and it's going to have to be on top. I'm going to do a small platform right here. And I'm going to turn this much bigger in the long run. So we'll need something like a stand with a button on it. And we'll put the button... I don't know. Let's grab the button and just put it on this post. That should work out. All right. Button's on the post. Now we can connect a controller to it as well. And the controller can be anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and place it right underneath. Just like so. And we're going to connect the button to the controller and the controller to one, two, three. Okay, pretty simple. So it's going to need to rotate. Let's see, this is going to need to go 90 degrees. The first one is going to go 90 degrees towards the pink. So negative 90 degrees. And then this one is going to have to go... 180 degrees to the blue okay so we'll go 90 to the pink 180 to the blue and let's take a look at our, oh i'm gonna lower the speed as well and we're gonna take number three and that one is going to actually is this one gonna stay put no this one is going to go 90 degrees to the pink is that correct let's see this is going to open up like this then that yeah 90 degrees to the pink <laughs> all right that's funny how that i had to actually draw it out in the air right all right there we go okay so every indication that this should work when i hit the switch all right that's exactly what we needed that's the lift okay so the problem is we can't touch the switch to go back down now um <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going to need a kill switch too. Let me get on my lift and actually meet up there. There we go. And if we were to put a kill switch on the very bottom here, can we connect it to the same controller? That's the question here. It looks like it. That's good. Okay. So the same thing connects to it. That's fine. That's exactly what we want. Oh, no. It did not connect to it. Aha. It did not. So we can't have a two-way switch? Huh. Well, that's something that I didn't expect. Okay. Well, that's not what I want. I want the button. There we go. It's going to lower back down. So, my question is, how do we create a switch that would encompass both? Hmm. I'm guessing that we can always, like... Oh, I know. We, well, a button wouldn't do. Because if, we were, if it would be a button, then the button would actually have to be pressed the entire time on the lift. The lift would go back down. And then we still couldn't have a second one. Okay, let's extend the ladder, and I will fill fig the the platform, and I will figure out this uh, this predicament soon enough. All right, let's see how big the platform can get because it's going to be it's going to look pretty funny when it's extended with this big old platform on top. And that is one too big. And let's see here. We'll take all of these away. And then we'll finish off the platform just like so. All right. The platform is good. Now, the only thing that I could do possibly is change, like, probably make this too. Well, that won't, that won't, that actually won't do anything. Uh, what I could probably do just to make this whole thing a little bit nicer is to kind of do that, seal it in. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good call. Cuz like now it's going to look like a fixture instead of something weird. You won't even know that the lift is there. 
And we just have to put a few more there. How about that? Okay, so every indication that this should work. Oh, yeah, we got an elevator. This is awesome. And it doesn't look like there's an issue with weight. You could jump up and down on it. Huh. Now, I still don't know how we're going to get this thing up and down with uh, if you're at the bottom because the safe switch is not there, you know, and you can't connect a second one to that. So I'm thinking that, gosh, I don't know, man. Let me play around with this. I tried hooking up switches different ways and it didn't really work. So I decided to make a whole nother piston elevator. So that's the obvious reason. Now, let's say you get up here and i decorated a little bit too i hope y'all like it so you get up here and you decide that you're going to take an elevator up to the to the other floor and let's say i don't know let's say it's uh the cargo bay or you take your jet plane out of the second floor or you take the stairs down at another location at any rate you end up on the bottom floor needing to go back up to the top sooner or later well net, rather than just taking the stairs if you had a second elevator with a sensor you can just go up to it and it would bring you right up. Now, the reason for the sensor is it's a fail safe because if you did the same thing with this one and got off of it right here, some reason, some way, somehow, you would get off, maybe this is the service interest, you would get off of it here. If, if it was the same design as that one, the switch would never activate. So you would have two elevators stuck in the air with no way to get back up. But this way, it's just a small service elevator. You get right in front of the sensor. It brings you high enough to where you can actually activate the switch. You activate the switch. Your primary elevator goes down. You move out the way of the sensor, and everything is fine. And now you can just go right back up to the second floor just the way that you always do. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time. All right, we ready? <laughs> that was only level four. I thought it was a 44.